Nice to see you again. It's been a while. Let's jingle all the way. In this video, we got a little Q&A to talk about. We got a few other little things we want to discuss coming in 2022. So stick around. Jingle bells, jingle bells, Batman smells. <laughs> as long as it's Batman and not you. Hey guys, Matt and Wendy DeWitt, back from MWD Adventures. We got a little video today. Just wanted to wish you guys a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. We've been really busy this fall, got the trailers put away. Unfortunately. <sighs> it was really difficult to put the trailers away. Especially with how warm it was last weekend, it would have been great to have been out camping. Yeah, 62 degrees here in Michigan. It was absolutely phenomenal. Uh, would have been nice for a little weekend getaway. But it's December and it's yeah. busy time. Yep. All the holiday stuff has to get done. Yep. We're almost mm -hmm. there. I'm getting a little edumacated, working on a fire science degree, so it's some finals to get done, like all the college kids do. And you did so awesome. Oh. So proud of you. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> so, we are going to get into it. What do you want to talk about first? Do you want to talk right. about the products, or do you want to talk about... Let's do the Q&A. Okay. Q&A. What do we got? All right. So, the first one was based off of our Dart you Wall video. Two people responded back to us that we wanted to comment on. Blue Moose, um, he said that he went ahead and got the back walls so that he can have a little extra privacy when he is out camping um, but he did not get the ones with the windows and he wished he would have and then skyways to highways they um, had the 230 awning and they said they were wishing that 230 also had the windows which they don't at this point i would think in the near future that that'd be something that they would see as come out in their competitors and that they may come out with something similar but. yeah little manufacturer secret they all copy each other. <laughs> so I got a feeling that one will copy the other and they'll all copy each other. And next thing you know, they'll all have windows. And if that's what you're looking for for your brand, I would say wait. Yeah. All right. Question number two is regarding the moonshade. Um, someone commented that we were going to get different stakes so that we could find them because the stakes just blend in with the ground. Um, his suggestion, um, Kevin McNeil, said to replace the rope loops with something brighter. So not to worry about the stakes themselves, yep. but to get a brighter cording. Yeah, yellow, orange, something fluorescent, something yeah. that you can be able to see at around camp. Very so, good idea. Definitely. All right, and then someone, um, let's see here, Freedom Revival was asking if we have a brake controller on our tow vehicle. And if so, what setting do we use? We do have a brake controller. I have a 2012 uh, Chevy 1500 pickup. And my controller is actually built into the dash. My setting is around one. So it goes half and then it goes one, one and a half, so on and so on. I usually keep it between half and one. Um, once you get that sweet spot, we tend to just leave it there, so. That answers that question. Round, round one. So, All right, Josh Allen asks um, about the lights that Matt has put on the trailer because you know he's put a few of them on ours. Um, so for the ones that are in the back galley area, um, or no, for the ones underneath, did you actually drill a hole in the hiker? I'm a little nervous to actually drill a hole. So what did you do? Well, and he's referring to drilling a hole through the floor of the trailer. Yes, the, the floor is wood um, on the metal frame so yes I did um, I basically chase the wire that goes into the hiker in the back would be a driver's rear 
side. Um, I filed that wire in and I just went over about an inch or two and drilled a secondary hole. Was it painful? Yeah. It's like, good. Oh, I don't want water in there. Don't want this. I want that. So once I got those wires fished through, um, I chased it with a piece of, um, it's like a conduit type stuff. It's a plastic wrap. I put the plastic wrap around the wires in that area so there's no chafing with the wood. And then I gopped it up really good on both sides with a little bit of like a silicone sealant. So, yep. Um, once you seal it up though, you don't have to worry about that. And yeah. now that it's run through, we haven't had, we haven't any, had issues. any issues with water getting in, any, no. uh, any problems like that. So, yep, that's how I did it. Thanks for the question. Thank you. Um, Metexa Anna Beer is asking, oh, and our video about what's in our tool bag. Oh yeah. Suggested having self-sealing silicone tape instead of the electri electrical tape. Yes, that would be a good idea. Yep, definitely. I will have to pick up that next time I'm at Home Depot. But uh, yeah, that's some good stuff. If you've ever used that self-sealing, it's, it's really flexible. Um, it can wrap tighter around things if you're wrapping it around something, whether it's wire or so on. And then it kind of just, it, it, it's kind of extra yeah. sticky, a little bit gooey. So it seals up really, really tight. So they were saying, intrusion. especially if you'd have a burst radiator hose. Sure, absolutely. That would be a good use for it. Yep. Um, and then from that same video, someone also suggested having a voltmeter and a tape measure. I did not talk about the voltmeter in the video. I do carry a voltmeter. Um, it's an important tool to have. If you don't know how to use it, it still can be an important tool to have because you might have somebody in your campground or around you that knows how to use it. But get educated on it, learn how to use it. Uh, yeah, voltmeter is a very handy tool. What would you use a voltmeter for? Well, you're trying to diagnose whether you've got a ground issue with the trailer or if you have a power issue, that kind of thing. It's very important to have a way to detect if you have 12 volts. Um, and then if you have a low power situation, you're trying to determine, is it the battery? Do I have a bad connection? You can tell, am I at 12 volts, 10 volts, 8 volts? Okay. You know, it'll help you diagnose that problem. All right, and then Wabs McSchnell said, oh, Wendy, those mushroom caps looked amazing. We yes. need your recipes. <laughs> they uh, were really good. <laughs> I'm trying to talk her into making a cookbook, guys. Yeah, so I don't know. Help me out in the comments. <laughs> Tell her she needs to make a cookbook of all her camping recipes. I'm trying so hard. So we um, may make some videos on specific meals that I make. If there's anything specifically that you want more details on, put that down in the comments. That'll let us know which ones you'd like to know more info about. Yeah, yep. But eh, I don't make that many that oh, I can do a recipe book. Eh. I think you could. <laughs> I think you could. We'll see. I think it would be great. It would be awesome. We could put it out there for all the world. All right, so those were the questions for today. If you have some questions of your own that you would like us to answer, put those mm -hmm. in the comments also. We'd love to put another video together this um, winter season of questions that you have, whether it's about the trailer, about the lights that Matt has, about trips that we've taken. Yep. Um, just put them down in the comments and we will go from there. Yep. Uh, on to products. Products. We got a couple of products that we have been, one we've been given and one we purchased. Um, so I've always got this problem on my side of the trailer where I need to kind of scrub my feet off before I get into the trailer. I bought an Ikea rubber mat and then it's got a little bit of a fuzzy coating on it. The problem with that is all the leaves, the debris, everything sticks to this thing. And when it gets wet, it gets oh, heavy and it mess. takes forever to dry. So we are looking for something that would dry quicker yeah. and then have a little bit of a rough textured surface on it so that you can take your feet and you can kind of scrub them off before you get, get the dirt the off. Yeah, you want to get the dirt off, the leaves off, the mud off, whatever. Mm -hmm. um, because, you know, typically you climb in the trailer and you do the cricket. <laughs> you, we, do, you do the cricket. We call it doing the cricket. So <laughs> you climb in the trailer into your bed area and you have your feet hanging outside <laughs> the trailer and you rub your feet together. Okay, like a cricket would to make songs. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'm expecting so some music and some songs from you next yeah, time you do it. I'll, make, I'll dub in the cricket sound here. Okay. So, uh, but anyway, you rub your feet together like that before or you get into bed, you climb into your bed. You don't want to get dirt, mud, and all that into your bed, right? Right, because so. there's really nowhere else to put your feet but in your bed. Searching high and low, I found out from GT... F Overland. F O 
No, GTF Overland. I always call it GTFO Overland. It's GTF Overland. <laughs> and they have a product on uh, California areas where they're from. And uh, the surfer dudes like to use this kind of a green mat. So I'm going to open it up here. So it's kind of like the grass mats that they used to have out in front of trailers. Yep. It's a little bit thicker though. So he says a lot of surfers will have these mats and they will take them. You can see it's got kind of a backing on it and there's actually holes in it for drainage. I was going to show the, the height of the grass. Yeah. yeah. It's probably an inch. Ish. Yeah. And then uh, what size was this one? This was the XL, right? Yes. Yeah, so this is the XL, which was, do you remember the dimensions? Mm, about two by three. Yeah, somewhere ish. in there. So it comes with a nice Velcro strap that is attached to it permanently, so you don't lose the strap. But I'm really curious how this is gonna work. So what I'm thinking is that, I don't have to do the cricket, and I can <laughs> scrub my feet on this nice grass and get all the debris off, and this should be able to just shake loose we talked to those guys, they are super. They said, yep, this should definitely work for what you're trying to do. So Our biggest thing is wondering how well it's gonna drain if it gets wet during um, a rainstorm. Yep, my fear with the grass is if you've had carpeted grass stuff before, is that the little green things start mm -hmm. to peel off. Eh, we might lose a few of them, but you know, it's, it's designed to be used, so. Yep. I'm excited to try this thing, and that's one thing we will be reviewing and going over and trying in the future. You can knock me out with Bonk. it, wow. All right, something that I actually had on my Christmas list this year was a down blanket of some sort. Um, we were researching different ones. Matt kept on, oh, it's under the camera. Okay, um, getting ads in his YouTube, or not YouTube, on Facebook for the Rumpel style down blanket. Um, and then someone at our camp out had avoided brand blankets. We had Get Out Gear actually reach out to us about the time we were gonna order one and said, hey, we'd love for you to try one of ours and do a review. So they sent us one. Um, so we will be working on this and checking it out. Um, it is down, they do have a synthetic version from what I understand. This one is made for one person. It's got snaps so that you could wear it kind of as a cape around you when you're outside. Um, we're thinking it'd be nice to have one that would be wide enough to cover both of us in bed, which this one isn't wide enough for that. So we'll try it out and we'll give you our two cents on what we think of it. But it is pretty warm. We've used it around the house when we're watching TV and it definitely is warm. Yeah. So. Uh, what was the fill of down, you remember? I, 650? I don't know for sure. Somewhere in there. But once we review it, we'll put all the specs in there. Yeah. So far, just looking at the stitching and so on, it looks like a high quality. Mm -hmm. So yeah, we will give you our thoughts and opinions on it down the road. So that's coming out this year. We still have video from our camp out that we plan on putting out. Mm -hmm. um, in the hiker trailer owners group, we see questions about curtains all the time. Like what do people mm -hmm. use for curtains? Mm -hmm. We took pictures in every trailer that we saw at the camp out and we'll be putting a compilation together of the different things that people have done so that you can take a look and um, see what might work for you. Yeah. For the, it goes from as simple as just doing napkins um, that people have clipped onto rods yeah. to people buying um, ones that were made ahead of time that they could purchase. So, and anything and everything in between. So if you're a sewer to a non-sewer, there are options out there for you. Did we see anyone magnets? I thought we did. Mm, uh, Something I've always wanted to toy around with was magnets. Putting magnets around the top and having the material just snap on. Then you could pull it back and you could set it to either a third, two thirds, or all the way, three thirds, all the way across and cover the window. But something yep. we could look into. And then we have footage about the galleys. Yep. So there's people that have very basic galleys, use bins, to people that have it built out so much that there's a spot for every little thing that they have. So we will be putting that together for you. Um, we have more footage on a off-road trailer, um, the new XL version. Um, so yeah, we've got options that, of things that we want to get out there for you. 
with it being winter time and we're not camping as much, we don't have as much footage to put together. So we will be putting out our videos every other week um, through probably springtime. So we're still here. We just won't be putting out a video quite as often. So we want to know, what are you guys getting for Christmas? What do you think you're getting for Christmas? Put it down in the comments. We'd love to see what are you, spe specifically your camping items. Yes. What are your must have camping items on your Christmas list? I'm gonna tell you mine and I hope Santa brings it to me. <laughs> I'm looking for a new camera, the camera I'm talking on right here. I'm looking for that, I'm looking for a new lens kit. Um, potentially some new audio equipment, maybe a GoPro. <laughs> Your mm. list is much I was bigger really good this year. and much more expensive than my list is. I was really, is. really good this year. The so. only camping thing I'm asking for is a new griddle because um, mine is warped and every time I cook, it, it rattles back and forth. It's so. time to upgrade that. It definitely. is. So yep. I'm hoping that Santa knows that and is, has yes. found me a good griddle to use for next year. Yeah. Oh, tripod. The tripod mm -hmm. we're talking about right now. <laughs> we'll cut in a picture. It's duct taped like many of times over. It works, but it's not pretty. <laughs> so, yes. Um, what else? Hmm. Oh, Claymore lights. I would love to get some more Claymore well, lights. I love my Claymore lights. When would you ever lights. turn down a light? Same thing. We've got Claymore lights on us right now. So, <laughs> they twofold. Use them for camping. Use them for your photography and video. Yep. So, anyway, with that... Put that down in the comments. Piker Trailer had a QA. and a It released yesterday, 1 p.m. on Saturday on yeah. their YouTube channel. So uh, reach out to them, subscribe to their channel. They're gonna have more content coming out on there. They also did a walk around with Jordan and Bob, the owner of Indiana Plant. Um, they walked through all the models. They showed the colors, they did options. They might do future q and a so throw a comment out there and say, hey, I'd like to see more Q&As if you're interested in that kind of stuff. Um, what else? Oh, um, um, and then rentals. We are taking reservations for our rental trailer for mm -hmm. 2022. So that is up on our channel. We'll put our channel here, <laughs> mwdadventures.com. You can go there. We have everything. We've got a shop. You can shop for merch. We've got the um, Amazon affiliate store, which we'd greatly appreciate anything purchased yes. through that. <laughs> sure. So on the rentals page, we have a list of our rental, how it works. We got a short video clip so you can see what it looks like. Also links to Outdoorsy, which that's where you would sign up yeah. and get all your information. There's a lot of great places in Michigan to go camping and mm -hmm. we've got a list of suggestions on there. Some of our favorites. Or you can make up your own adventure. Yep, and if you would rent it and you had questions about places to check out in Michigan, let us know and we can give you lots of tips and hints and yep. um, some of our favorite things we love to do here. Yep, absolutely. Yeah. All of our videos that we are seeing that can be used for building your trailer, all that, kind of a build guide. We've taken those videos and broke them down and then broke down our reviews of our products and so on. So if there's a specific topic you're kind of looking for, you can go under the video review heading. heading and you can look in there and try to find the video you're looking for. We get a lot of questions about the dimensions video, the galley video, the interior video. Um, okay, guys, with that, thanks for watching. Thanks for tuning in. This is a little bit talking head, but hey, sometimes you got to have a few of those. <laughs> so Merry Christmas from us to you. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. Yes. And we hope that you can get out in 2022 and, and do, do a, a little, little camping. camping. Take care, guys. Bye. Bye.